Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us this week as we celebrate the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Almost the end of Ordinary Time and the beginning of Advent pretty soon. And as we gather for this Mass, we begin as always in God's peace and forgiveness as we call to mind our sins and depend on God's mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have I greatly, greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, words in what I have, what done, I have done and what and I have what failed, I failed to, do, to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask, ask Blessed Mary, Mary of a Virgin, Virgin, all the all angels and saints, and, saints, and you, and my, my brothers and sisters, sisters to pray, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on and earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We praise, we praise you, you. We bless you. you. We, we adore, adore you. you. We glorify you. We give you, we give you thanks, thanks for your great, for your great glory. glory. Lord God, Lord God heavenly, heavenly King, King God, God Almighty Father, Father. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten only Son. Son. Lord, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, world have mercy on us. You take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world, receive, world, receive our, our prayer. prayer. You are seated at the, at the right hand of the Father, Father. Have, have mercy on us. us. For you alone you are the Holy One. one. You, you alone are the Lord. Lord. You alone you are the Most the High, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. With, the With the Holy Spirit, Spirit and, the and the glory of God, of God the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. When one finds a worthy wife, her value is far beyond pearls. Her husband, entrusting his heart to her, has an unfailing prize. She brings him good and not evil all the days of her life. She obtains wool and flax and works with loving hands. She puts her hands to the distaff and her fingers ply the spindle. She reaches out her hands to the poor and extends her arms to the needy. Charm is deceptive and beauty fleeting. The woman who fears the Lord is to be praised Give her a reward for her labors, and let her works praise her at the city gates. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Amen. 
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Concerning times and seasons, brothers and sisters, you have no need for anything to be written to you. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. When people are saying peace and security, then sudden disaster comes upon them, like labor pains upon a pregnant woman. They will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness for that day to overtake you like a thief. For all of you are children of the light and children of the day. We are not of the night nor of the darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as the rest do, but let us stay alert and sober. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Friends, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately, the one who received five talents went and traded with them and made another five. Likewise, the one who received two made another two. But the man who received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them. The one who had received five talents came forward, bringing the additional five he said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I have made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come share your master's joy. Then the one who had received two talents also came forward and said, Master, you gave me two talents. See, I have made two more. His master said to him, well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come share your master's joy. Then the one who had received the one talent came forward and said, Master, I knew you were a demanding person, harvesting where you did not plant and gathering where you did not scatter. So out of fear, I went off and buried your talent in the ground. Here it is back. His master said to him in reply, You wicked, lazy servant, so you knew that I harvest where I did not plant, and I gather where I did not scatter. Should you not then have put my money in the bank so that I could have it back with interest on my return? Now then, take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten, for to everyone who has, more will be given, and he will grow rich. But from the one who has not, even the one he has will be taken away. And throw this useless servant into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Most of us are aware that during this past week, Alex Trebek, the longtime host of Jeopardy, passed away. 
after a long and courageous battle with cancer. Lots of people were big fans of Jeopardy. Perhaps you were too. Or any of those game shows kind of like it. Of course, the twist in Jeopardy was that the person is given the answer and they have to come up with the question. But then comes Final Jeopardy, where you have to put some money on the line, where whatever you have earned in the course of the game, you now have to wager. Some people wager a lot, some not so much. Maybe they're afraid that they're going to lose. They're afraid they're not going to be able to double their money or have any at all. Some, once in a while, wager it all. They put it all out there, figuring perhaps, well, I came here with nothing, so if I go home with nothing, nothing lost, nothing gained, it's okay, all part of the game. I often wonder what I would do or how much I might wager. It's not all about just how much money you can get or how much money you can win. Same thing happens in that other game show, How Would You Like to Be a Millionaire? When you get to the question that might not be too easy and you use up all your lifelines and then you have to decide, do I take what I have, what's really secure, or do I take a chance and perhaps get more, double your money, or continue to go upward toward that million dollar prize? Well, it's a hard decision to make, that's for sure. The Gospel today talks about a man who apparently had a lot of money. History doesn't tell us what a talent was worth in the ancient world, but it does tell us this, it was a lot of money. So if someone had 10 of them, that's a lot of money. And to make 10 more, wow, that's really paying off on your investment. Of course, it's a parable and it's meant to say, do we live in fear? Do we share the talents we have? Not money, but the gifts that we've been given. Do we share that or our financial well-being with other people? Or do we keep it to ourselves? Do we take the chance to make more? Or do we bury our talent in the ground, hoping to just keep that one secure so that we can give that back to the master when he returns? Apparently, that's not what he wants. Apparently, he wants us to use our talent, our money or our gifts, whatever it happens to be, and multiply them and share them with others so that they can do some good, not just for us, but for people in general. It's so tempting though, isn't it, to just take the comfortable road, to just use that easy way out and not take a chance. Not take a chance on sharing what we have with other people. Not take a chance on sharing our joy, our happiness. That doesn't really help them. In this day and age, we need to share all the joy we can get. We need to share all of the good things that we have been given with other people, not bury it in the ground and save it and keep it safe just for us. Because it wasn't given to us for that purpose. It was given to us to share, to share with those we encounter, to share with those we know and those we don't know. We all have many opportunities to do this. What would we do? Do you ever think about that if you're watching one of those game shows? What would you do? Would you answer the question after all your life plan, risking losing what you have or take the safe road, just take the money and go? Same could be said on the show we know as Jeopardy. As we see these television shows, they help us to think about what we might do in life is the same. The parable extends itself way beyond just sharing or keeping a, a number of money, a, a number of financial resources, but it asks us to look a little deeper, as most of the parables do, and to find in our life the possibility of always multiplying those gifts and sharing them with others. That's what the Master expects us to do, not to, have, to hide out of fear and to not share because we're afraid of losing. God's gifts, God's talents given to us, maybe not financially, but all the things that God has given to us are only going to be multiplied, are only there to be built upon. We don't have to worry about losing them. If we do, tomorrow, there'll be a new opportunity to find more. That's how generous God is. And he's asking us to be generous with our gifts, with our talents, with our financial ability to share with others and not hide out of fear or mistrust or anything that will hold us back. Instead, to freely be willing 
to take that chance because it's that chance that could increase what we have and also increase our joy at what we've been given. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In confidence and hope, let us offer to God these prayers. For the church, may all people listen deeply to the word of Christ allowing it to inform their souls and inspire their steps. We pray to the Lord. For all souls, especially the faithful who have left us this past year, may they find rest and light in the mansions of the Father's heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have suffered from COVID-19 and all who have died from this virus, may God's care bring them healing and bring calm to their loved ones as they mourn their loss. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the young people of our parishes, especially those recipients of the Bishop's Youth Awards, may God, through his spirit, continue to grant courage and inspiration to young hearts, giving them strength to be an example of Christ to all. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For our beloved deceased, for deceased veterans, and especially all parishioners, living and deceased, of St. John the Evangelist, and St. Joseph Morello parishes, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the prayers of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving and provident Father, you give us all good gifts. Help us to share them as you share your love unconditionally with us every day. We ask this and these prayers we offer today through Christ our Lord. Amen. May friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all of your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially those recommended to our prayers on All Souls Day. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. John the Evangelist, St. Joseph Morello, and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for kingdom, the kingdom, the power, power and the glory, and glory are yours, are yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer a sign of peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, Lord, I am not, worthy not worthy that you should enter under my, my roof, but only but say only the say word, the word and my, soul my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do, in memory of him, may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you.